How's it going everyone? So before we begin, just want to say you should probably ignore the pink earphones. No, I'm not gay. Not that it matters. Pink has nothing to do with my masculinity. Anyway, so uh, I just got done running about four miles. And usually on my long distance runs, I suppose because they increase brain-derived neurotropic factor, um, I suppose the universe has given me with some type of cosmic knowledge, if you will. And basically, what I thought, what came to me is, follow your inspirations, not your urges. So there's a lot of talk about intuition and crap like that, and it sounds really woo-woo, but I've been thinking a lot about how um, tribalistic humans for thousands upon millions of years, long before we developed science, uh, discovered which things were healthy and which things were harmful. And um, I've been reading a lot about things like uh, intuitive eating and things of that nature, and obviously trial and error. And what I've kind of came to, to think about is uh, how most people fail in society. I notice a lot of people, they fall victim to urges and things. When we tell people just to give their body what, they, what it wants, it's very easy to mistake that for, well, oh, I, my body feels like it needs fucking milk chocolate or something. And the reality is that's more of an urge. That's a craving. That's definitely not um, like a visceral inner body intuitive feeling. I don't think that your body would just naturally tell you to go out there and eat some kind of junk that's toxic. So... A lot of people claim, and there's famous people who quoted, when they follow their intuition, they can never go wrong. And I think, to an extent, this can get people lost, it can get people uh, trapped in a lot of very bad situations. But I also feel like it can guide people to make great decisions, especially in a very short amount of time. Especially for people like me who tend to I think very deeply about everything. Um, a lot of times it can kind of bring some clarity if you just follow that intuitive feeling instead of using your logical brain. So, simple things like uh, choosing what book to buy at a bookstore. I notice a lot of times when I choose what I want to buy based on logic, I tend to not read that book. But then, that intuitive feeling is always there whenever I'm in the bookstore to buy that one particular book that I wanted to read. And so, <clears throat> I challenge you guys to follow that intuitive feeling a lot more. Especially for people who are dealing with uh, extreme anxiety and uh, just overthinking and obsessing over different things, especially life decisions. Now, someone who talks a lot about this, who I really don't follow at all anymore, but I used to follow years ago, was Elliot Hulse, always talked about following your heart. And I always thought that was gay, and I never knew what the fuck that meant. But I think that this is along lines of what he's talking about. And sometimes your intuition or your heart can guide you in some really crazy places. But... Um, somehow you pull through and you learn that those crazy places were actually not so crazy. It was exactly where you need to go and where you need, where you need to be all along. So, um, urges can be things like wanting to buy alcohol or uh, wanting to cuss out your family. You know, getting angry. Anger is an urge. It's not an intuitive feeling. Um, if somebody texts you and tells you, hey man, like let's hang out today, but you really don't feel like it, going and hanging out with them out of obligation just because like, oh, I, I need more friends or whatever, or whatever it is, you know, I want to be nice, that's more of an urge. It's definitely not an inspired feeling, especially if you have a counter feeling that says, hey, um, I feel like going out and buying a juicer and buying like a bunch of greens. Just make sure you get your... Uh, high quality animal protein on the side, you know, 
and I'm like, fuck, if I go and hang out with this guy, I'm not gonna be able to get my juicer deal tomorrow afternoon, but I need that juice so that I can power through my, my work or whatever. Should probably go and buy the juicer instead. Uh, and I found that when I follow this urge, especially this obligation, right, this, this feeling of obligation, it always guides me in the wrong direction. Well, not always. Most, a, a lot of the time it guides me in a direction that still provides me benefit, but it's like an empty feeling. It's like, okay, this was cool, but uh, doing what I wanted to do before would have been much cooler. <laughs> and then usually when I choose the inspired feeling, I notice it's like almost like life kind of just falls into place. That's what I notice. And going back to the tribes and whatnot, I think that this is kind of a lot of how human beings were meant to kind of live in many ways, especially even in regards to health, because everyone is, uh, like so obsessed with like the healthiest diet. Like it's this information craze. And for me personally, uh, I've been obsessed with it. Digging through, uh, well, diet books over and over again, different styles of eating, which is retarded because they all say the same thing in different ways. I don't really learn anything new when I read uh, nutrition books, pretty much ever. I could write a nutrition book way better than the majority of crap I see. So I try to stick to uh, scientific journals and things, but even they don't really give me the type of information that uh, is going to move forward in any way. It's not really productive information that I need. And it's usually rehashing, same thing over and over again, and uh, you know, using population data and fucking observational trials, which are not even reliable. But vegans think they are. My point is. Uh, even the, the vast majority of science in which we thought we found our, our society's beliefs upon things like uh, when when the earth was created or when the earth started or uh, when the earth is going to disintegrate into shambles millions of years in the future these are all extreme weak extremely weak theories or uh, they're hypothetical scenarios based on what limited evidence we have. Some evidence is always better than none, and it's better than a lot of the religious theories, which, especially in regards to the end of the world, have crumbled over and over again. And what I'm saying is science is not as reliable of a tool as we give it credit for. And as somebody who's been desperately finding, def desperately searching for answers and truth for the past couple years, and what I keep finding is every Buddy has a different truth like or everybody has a different opinion on what they believe is true and I keep just finding mixed answers and what I'm finding is It just doesn't like there may be a truth out there for many different things But we might just not know or not be able to tell um, So Maybe uh, it's better to Maybe it's better to uh think of um, some different methods of determining direction and path, especially in regards to life decisions. I think we should use scientific data to determine common sense and use common sense. For example, going to extreme ends of a nutrition paradigm is probably harmful. Um, what else? Like drinking Clorox is probably harmful. Um, not exercising is probably stupid. Exercising all day, every day might not be the best thing unless you're training for the Olympics, unless you really want to, like me. Anyway, um, and then beyond, beyond that, like use science, yes, definitely, but also um, use your intuition. And the, 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 the main thing is try to detach yourself from dogma and um, labels and ego especially in regards to your own personal life decisions and the scientific paradigms in which you choose to abide by. Because bias and dogma, I believe, is the greatest evil in the world. It creates a lot of conflict. It only hold back, uh, holds back science from progressing forward. And uh, it's just annoying and irritating to those who are actually trying to find the truth. Everyone has a different idea. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to y'all later.